We'll see. Okay, so we're doing this together. Here we go. So, how do we do? Wait, we first need to welcome our very first guest. We're going to work welcome our first guest, Christian from California. Let's hear it for Christian. What's up, y'all? How you doing? <laughs> okay, Christian, go ahead. All right, check this Pick out. Pick a color, any color. Uh, orange. Good. Okay, now, how do we do number one, sir? All right, so check this out. The two on the, on the, on the top right, that's two, right? And F equals five. Yes. So you just so times that. Now, we want to write it with parentheses. Sorry to interrupt you there, Christian. That's all right. We want to write, instead of the F, we're going to use parentheses. Everybody make sure this on your paper, because this is how you show your work. Uh-huh. Everybody. Okay. And we're going to write the squared uh -huh. plus three. Okay. How do we do that, sir? All right. So you just uh, times five by five, all right? Right. So five times five. Which is 25. Correct. 25. All you got, just add that 25 plus three, which is 28. Yeah. Very good, sir. Yo. We all get that answer? Yep. Okay, oh. cool. Let's hear it for a Christian. Okay, now we have dogs. This I see you Must really like dogs. <laughs> Christian, come here. This person must like dogs. I yeah. love dogs. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do this problem, mm -hmm. sir? So first, you get, so if x equals 3, yeah. then it's 8 uh, multiplied by 3. Right, now you're going to show your work with parentheses here. Write this down. Write this down. This is how you show your work. Work, work. very smart. Okay, so go ahead. What's next? So 8 times 3 equals 24. Mm -hmm. And negative uh, multiplied by, by negative 2 equals uh, positive 4. Mm -hmm. Positive four makes and, and together it makes twenty eight. So they were both twenty eight. Awesome. You know that. You know that. All right, now we have chandelier coming from the ceiling, chandelier. and the next person should be waiting. Okay. The next person should be waiting. Okay, go ahead. How do we do this problem now? We want to show our work with the arrows. Yes. Arrow. Okay. So where do our arrows go? You do an arrow from the 5 to the 3, and another one from the 5 to the 10. Excellent. Okay. And that means multiply by the way. So? You do three, I mean 5 times 3x, which gives 15x. Do we agree? Yeah. yeah. And then 5 times 10, which gives positive 50. Okay, cool. Now, are we done, or should we add those together? You're done. Don't add them together. Careful, careful, because one's an X and one's not. Okay? Careful, careful, careful. Okay, next one. We need to be careful with our negatives, right? Are you running away? <laughs> I thought you were going to do this one. Okay, let's hear it for chandelier. Okay, Vince, do you want to do four and five or just five? I would like to just do five. Okay, so negative times the negative makes a what, everybody? I heard it. Positive. So, therefore, we get positive 8x, and this is also negative times negative, so positive 20. Okay, are we done? Yes, we are. All right. Uh, now we've got Vincent. Whoa, that's cool. Okay. Arrows from? The three? Yes. All right, cool. And what does it make? And then it makes... 3, and it makes 15. Okay, 3x. Now, we need to do our Dorito Man right. Yeah. So, positive 3 times negative 5 makes... Negative 15. Yeah, kind of positive negative. times negative, right, makes negative. So, negative 15. Are we done? Yes. Yes. Yeah, very good. Okay. All right, now we've got the Lorax and the ones that are coming, like, together, right? All right, let's go. Okay, uh, oh, we didn't give them a pause. Where are you all from? I'm from the sky. From the stack, all right. No, from the sky. The sky. That's even better. Let's hear it for them. Um, hello, everybody. Wake up. Oh, there's it, there's it, there's it. Okay, Lorax, what color do you want to use? Um, orange. Orange. 
orange. Orange again. Okay, orange. How do we do it? Okay, so you want to do one half times four. Mm-hmm. And put your arrows. Which makes? Which makes two X. Two X. Then you want to do one half times ten. Which is? Which is five. And okay, then, are we done? And that's it. Yeah, you're right. Now, yeah. by the way, you this is multiplication, right? Look at all of these. These are all multiplication. Three yeah. times five, right, 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 yeah. right, everybody? Yeah. So yeah. if it's multiplication, we can do it the long way. One half times four over one equals four over two. Or, and four divided by two is two. Or, we could also do, uh, let me change colors here. We could also divide those both by two, and we would get two over one. Okay, so if you want to uh, multiply it the long way, you could. But, you can also just think of half. Half of four and half of ten. Okay, one slurp. Okay, what, uh, still orange? Okay, let's do orange. Wait, I'm going to do green. Green? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. How do we do this one? So, um, what I did was I added 7x and 5x. Right, because these x's match, okay. And then I... What did you get when you get 7 and 5? Um, you get 13x. Careful, 12. Right? What? 12x. Okay, oh. now we need to add together the negative 6 and the 9, so let's use didn't... our tool here. How do we do that one? This one we put um, the 9 in the, pos in the positive yes. place and the 6 in the negative place, mm -hmm. which yeah. makes it 3. 3. Yeah. Positive or negative? Positive. Yes. Good guys win. Okay, are we done? Are we done there? Um, no. Yeah. Yeah, we are done. Okay. Okay, now, coming all the way from is... Alright, are you ready? His name is... Alright, so... He wanted to do that. Okay, so... Uh, how do we do this, sir? Uh, we're going to want uh, to, to subtract the, the 2 from the 7. Okay, so 2 and 7. How, we need to use our tools, right? Good guys, bad guys, yeah. Yeah, so... We put the 2, we put the 7 on, yeah, the 2 right there, and then the 7 in the good guys. Right, so who wins? The good guys. Good guys win by 5, yes. right? So positive 5y. Yes, and then we, then we subtract the, the, Oops. the... The, the, I mean, we add the 8 to the 10, to negative 10. Okay, so 8 and negative 10, that's right. Those are numbers by themselves, yes. right? Okay. We put the 10 on the bad guys. Okay, wait, let's do one down here. Okay. We're running out of room here. Uh, 10 on bad guys? Yeah. Then the 8 on the good guys. Yes. And the bad guys went by 2, so that means it's negative 2. Okay, so negative 2. Are we done? Yeah. Yep, that's it. We can't add those together, right? So there's your answer. Okay, thank you. Mr. Huh? Uh, I forgot. <laughs> okay, let's do the last two together. Oh, did you guys need more time on that? You got it? Okay. All right. So, we're dividing this by what? What do you think? What can we divide those by? Four. Four. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah, I agree. Not two, because two is not the greatest common factor. All right, four. Two x plus, if we divide it by four, right? What's 12 divided by four? Three. Okay. So the last one, we're going to divide by what? Are you sure? Yes. Negative 7. Remember, if this first number is negative, we have to divide by negative. Don't forget that. Negative 7. Now, negative divided by a negative is a positive. So this has to be positive 3x. A negative divided by negative makes 
positive. So this has to be positive. Now, again, don't put your stuff away yet. We still have time. You can always test your answer by doing this, right? If there's any negatives, you should check your answer. Negative times a positive makes negative 21. And negative times a positive makes negative 14. So did that bring us back to our original thingy? Our original question answer yeah. thingy? Actually, it's the answer, isn't it? Answer question, yeah. answer question. So are, do they match? Yeah. Yes. So if they match, then we did it right. So don't forget to check your answer. Don't forget to check your answer. Okay, any questions? All right, are you happy with your YouTube video? Yeah. Good. All right, hi YouTube. All right, now don't.